real secret to reinventing your life in the new year is not making more resolutions, but instead reprogramming your intentions and expectations. And many say vision boards are the perfect way to get that started. I'm joined this morning by Marshawn Evans. She is the founder of Me University and the launch Your Dreams Tour, and also the author of Skirts in the Boardroom. Good to see you. Hi. This I hear is this really is your first time. It is. I've never heard of it. We'll get to that in just a second. But I want to know why is it? Because so many of us set resolutions for the new year, and yet we struggle keeping those resolutions. Why yeah. is that? Well, you know, resolutions, I think, have good intentions, but they don't have the right foundation. A resolution is usually rooted in regret, what you don't want to become. So a lot of times this time of the year, people are saying, I don't want to gain more weight. Right. But if you're focusing on not gaining more weight, your mind only knows to focus on one thing. So you actually gain more weight. And it's harder to keep the resolution okay. because you're focusing on what you don't want as opposed to shifting to what you do want. Okay. So let's start with how we go about getting this vision board going. I am a newbie at this. Okay. So what's the process if you want to start one? Well, the first thing to know is it's very simple. And it's it's very affordable. It's easy. It's something that you can do at home. So the first thing that you do is you start with um, an intention about who you want to become. And what I want to encourage people not to do is to go straight into cutting out pictures and creating this visual expression of themselves until they first get it clear in their mind who they want to become. Okay. So I really recommend starting out with five areas of your life. We want to focus on love. Love. We want to focus on ourself. Ourself. Um, our health. Health. Our, um, our wealth. Well, and, and what's the last one? And then also our overall life. Overall life. So we start with just our magazines at home. Yes, it's so easy. You can take some of these magazines or magazines that have been laying around. Some of them are even catalogs from department stores. Um, so you just start with some magazines that are laying around the house. You can get them from your local grocery store. Okay. You can also get them from a half price books or someone who's just getting rid of them because they can be treasure tools inside. And so you're saying basically the things we want to become, we mm -hmm. put on a board like you've, you have over here. Yes. And if we concentrate on those things enough, they'll come to fruition. Well, yeah, so here's the psychology behind all of this. The idea is that instead of a resolution, you want to set an expectation and a clear picture of who you want to be, okay. what you want to do, and what you want to have. Okay. And so in each of those five areas, I call it the Fab Five when we're talking about love and self and career, you want to set the intention really clearly and really get your mind in the right place. So even before we get right to the boards, you also want to have music playing that's inspiring, that gets you to open up. Up, that f removes all of the doubt and the worry that puts you in a really good mood. Okay. And then the last thing that I recommend before people start cutting is to say affirmations in each of those areas as well. So say, I am healthy, not I want to lose weight. Got it. I am vibrant, not I don't want to be sad. So stick to the positive. Stick to the positive, then pick up your scissors. Okay, so once we have our <laughs> magazines, we cut it all out, we yes. end up with something like this. Can you show us what you've come up with here? Yes. So I started with just magazines. One of, some of my favorites are, like, I love Oprah's magazine. Uh -huh. I love Sports Illustrated, so there's some for the guys as well, too. But you just flip through and you find images that speak to you. And it, the images don't have to mean anything to anybody else except for you. Okay. So this one, for example, is what I call a self-board, where you're solely focused on who I want to become, what I want to have, what I want to do. So these are all affirmations that speak to me. So I'm a speaker. Mm -hmm. So speaking out for hope is something that's important to me in this year to inspire others, especially in this economy, to know that anything is possible. Right. Um, and um, gift guide is a strong theme for me, helping people find their gifts and unleash their gifts. And so where do you place these posters in your home or where you'll be able to see them every day? What that's, should people do? That's a great question because, and, and a great point because you don't want to put this in a place where you won't see it. Right. You see, the mind um, is, is more able to make things happen if it can see it on a regular basis. So this is part of reprogramming is putting your vision board in a place where you can see it. So if that's in your office, if it's in your bedroom, if wherever that is where you're going to, you're see, going to it see it regularly. every day. We have about 30 seconds mm -hmm. left, but I wanted to get to this poster yes. too. Now, what, this one was on self. Which, which one is this This one, one on? is on money and business money for and me. Business. So I'm an entrepreneur. I believe you should also always put yourself on your vision board. See, I'm on mine as well so mm -hmm. that you're looking at all of these things that you want to attract, whether it's wealth, whether it's more um, clients in your business, and just know I like clients.
box because you're saying it's time for all of yes. these things to happen and your mind now associates you with the money with the um, prosperity, with the health, with the things that you want to see and in your life. And do you feel the vision boards have worked for you? I believe that the vision boards work really well because if we can see it, then we can be it. So better than a resolution. It's stronger than a, Let's get rid of the resolutions. Yeah. Let's walk into this year with new expectations. So nice to meet you, Marshawn. Thank you, you so well. much for coming on Thank and you. teaching me about vision boards. I'm ready to see yours. <laughs> All right. Thanks again. And we'll be right back.